I grew up being outside and enjoying being in the presence of nature. It was something that my parents and grandparents always instilled in my sister and I since I can remember. We grew up hiking, playing sports, kayaking, camping, exploring, and even fishing. When we were little, my dad took my sister Ernesto and me on a fishing trip. Ernesto and I were excited. We talked about who would catch the first fish, the biggest fish, the most fighting fish. Mom was out doing something with her sister Anne, so it was just Daddy and us. We were so sure that we were going to have the best time ever. It was always fun to spend time with Daddy. Dad loaded up the car and strapped our canoe to the top. Then he loaded Ernesto and me into it. When we arrived at the lake, Daddy told us that he was going to take us to his favorite fishing spot. Ernesto and I resumed discussing who was going to catch the first fish, the biggest fish, and the feistiest fish. Then we put on our life jackets and took our places in the canoe. Ernesto and I even had our very own little paddles to help get the boat moving. It took a little while to get to the spot. Ernesto was in the middle because she was the smallest. Dad was in the back because he was the biggest and I was in the front. Ernesto ended up sort of dragging her paddle in the water or splashing, but I did my best to help. When we finally arrived at Dad's secret fishing spot, we pulled our paddles and stashed them in the canoe. Then Daddy handed out our first snacks of the day and some water because we had worked so hard and were hungry. Apparently, Mom packed a lot of snacks. She was good at preparing for everything. After our snacks, Daddy helped Ernesto and me set up our fishing rods with hooks, bait, and bobbers. We were too young to use casting rods at that time. Then Daddy set up his rod with a shiny lure that would attract fish. Ernesto and I put our hooks in the water and waited. Daddy cast off his lure and reeled it in. Then he cast it out and reeled it in. Each time he brought the lure back, he wiggled the rod a little bit. He said it made the lure move in a more realistic way that that would better attract fish. Ernesto and I watched our floating bobbers for signs of action. And we watched and waited. And we waited. And waited. And waited. And we waited some more. The bobbers just kept floating on the water surface and floating, and floating, and floating. Eventually, as it happens with small children, Ernesto and I became bored. Ernesto started to sing some little girl song. Daddy told her to keep it down because the fish would be scared off. Ernesto stopped singing. She then began dragging the top of her fishing rod back and forth in the water. I grabbed the rod and told her to stop. Dad told us to quit squabbling. It would scare off the fish. What fish, I wondered. I stopped looking at my bobber and looked down into the water. In the water, I could see lots of fish, little tiny minnow fish. They were too small to catch, even with Ernesto's and my little hooks. But it was still more interesting looking into the water than watching the bobber. Ernesto started looking down into the water too. Dad seemed happy that at least we were quiet. Ernesto and I watched the little fish swimming in and out of the lake grass in the water. Ernesto started to name the fish. I wondered if she could tell them apart because there were so many of them and they were continually moving. Because she was ignoring her rod, the top kept hitting the water. I didn't say anything about it because it wasn't disturbing the water. Daddy kept casting his lure out into the lake and reeling it back in. He seemed happy. I was bored. I bet I might not be this bored if I had a casting rod like Dad's. I would have nice shiny lures in a box just like Dad's. I watched the little fish swimming around under the boat. I bet I would have caught a fish if I had that sort of fishing rod. I liked the noise that it made when he cast out. I loved the click when Dad started to reel in. Staring down at the fish, I suddenly saw a massive fish swimming along. It was huge and scary looking. I sat up immediately. Oh! Ernesto screamed. She had seen it too. It's a scary shark. It's gonna eat us. Ernesto cried out. I didn't cry out like Ernesto, but I did shout, Dad, look down there, it's a shark. I had seen parts of movies about sharks. Well, bits and pieces of them. Mom and Dad always turned them off when I walked in the room. I had seen the parts of the movies that showed what a big shark could do to a fishing boat or a helicopter. We were only in a little canoe. Dad, we need to go back, I said. There are no sharks here, Daddy said. Sharks live in the ocean, and this is a freshwater lake. 
Ernesto was petrified. I couldn't remember when she had been that quiet. Well, at least she won't be scaring away the fish or the shark. I was not sure that Daddy knew what he was talking about. I did keep quiet though. I didn't really worry about scaring away the fish. The little fish swimming around didn't seem terribly about the noise that we had made. I was more concerned with attracting the shark. At that moment, Ernesto's bobber was yanked underwater and her rod started to move out of the boat. Ernesto squealed and grabbed the rod. It's a fish, Ernesto trilled. She tried to reel it in, but was having a hard time. I snatched the rod, thinking that she wasn't strong enough. This fish was strong. I could hardly turn the reel. This thing was powerful. I tugged and pulled, and it pulled back. Suddenly, Ernesto screamed and pointed. The fish had surfaced for just a second, and it was the shark. I let go of the rod. Daddy reached over with the net, grabbed line before the fishing rod could fall in the water. Using the line and the net, he was able to catch the fish. Shark! screamed Ernesto. She was right. It was almost as big as she was. The fish thrashed around trying to get free. The boat was rocking. Ernesto was snifling and edging to my part of the canoe. It's not a shark, Daddy said smiling for some strange reason. It's a pike and a big one. Using his legs to hold the fish in place, Daddy removed the hook quickly. That was a good thing, because the fish had big teeth. Then he said, So, is this going to be our dinner? What? Were we going to kill it? I didn't know how to respond to that. That was the purpose of going fishing, wasn't it? To catch a fish to eat? But this fish was still fighting. It really wanted to live. I didn't answer. No, Ernesto said. Put it back. The fish thrashed about, rocking the boat. Ernesto was still sitting as far away from it as she could get. Put it back in the water, Ernesto again ordered. I thought you were scared of it, Daddy said. That was when I thought it was a shark, Ernesto replied. It's just a fish, but I still don't want to kill it. Daddy thought a moment, then smiled. Okay, Jay, will you take a picture? He asked as he collected the fish with the net. It was gnashing its teeth and seemed to be glaring at me with its big fishy eyes. I took out my camera and took a photo. Then, Dad let Ernesto say goodbye to the fish. We watched as Dad carefully lowered the pike into the water. With one more thrash, the fish leaped from Dad's hands into the water and quickly swam away. Let's go home, Ernesto said. I agreed. We all paddled quickly. Daddy framed the picture of himself with the pike, but scrawled under it, caught by the three of us. That experience left an impression on me. One was that fishing was more than just catching dinner, which to be honest, we always seemed to release our fish, even when Ernesto and I got older. It also taught us a little about time and patience. The main thing that it showed us was that no matter what we did, it was a great time to be together. Even when we might get bored for a little while, and it also taught us that boredom does not last forever. Hey, thank you for watching. Please click on the right to subscribe if you like the video. And please don't forget to click on the bell icon when you subscribe so that you can be notified when we upload a new video. Watch more videos on the left, including our playlist. Thank you.